information that I would normally miss, so I'll um, do the present start so we have some uh, record of this. Video presentation, Pots and Dr. William G. Burchard, President of Andronics, 18, 2000. Some information, please bear in mind, please excuse me. Um, we also uh, will, uh, try and talk a little bit maybe more about uh, the technical aspect a little bit later. Not disclosure. I ask that you disclose the tape, no information to anyone, without our written permission. Uh, normally, we have a quote. Who is this for? A scientist. I'll give you a brief background. In Homewood, Illinois, father and mother of people, well to do. Uh, they both graduated from college, college graduate, masters, um, uh, different schools, technical schools, uh, got a hardship discharge. I uh, figure I'm a very patriotic I believe in government. Uh, Anything we have uh, that the government needs, I think they should be welcome to. Um, it's just a personal belief of mine. My uh, top secret clearance, military instructor, NASA engineer, uh, IBM, UPS, US, West, Westinghouse, you know, Bear Univac, and Lockheed. NASA, once again, who's America, hold two pets on artificial muscles. Defense, worked at the Pentagon. Um, my main claim to fame, as far as, uh, as consulting and, and doing a lot of uh, different things, a lot of software, artificial intelligence, robotics, and things like that. mechanical devices. Um, built the robotic net. Been on CNN News, also a number of universities, expert in radar and weapon. Systems work on the Triton at space project. Um, you have a resume if you'd like to, upon request. Uh, about a four or five page res res resume, so it's quite lengthy. My speech a little bit, I'm a little nervous and not quite used to doing this. His history of Andrew was founded in 1984, of course, by myself. Uh, board directors, 100% of the school. All the patents and own all. Uh, what our charter? Our charter is to build electrical devices, devices, robotics, and all mankind. To do this, that's what the question was to um, find an energy source that. Now, uh, there's there's three things that I think that that uh, we look at that helped us progress to this point. Now, realizing a lot of Electrical engineering also. Uh, about your prosthetic devices, you have probably three things: vision, power, and so if, you, if you do those things, you can be very successful. So what I'm going to do is um, basically go through that a little bit and give a presentation of the pods and the clips. I'm going to ask Don to shut off the tape, take a little. I'll start a little bit later. Ah, thank you very much for being with us. What I'd like to do is talk about pots and collectors. We have a number of products I'd like to talk about, but our main line, what we're really focused on would be pots and collectors. So what's the problem? <clears throat> what, what is the problem, the dilemma, the dilemma we're starting to face in our industry? We have wireless cell phones. We have mouse, uh, mouses, uh, keyboards, uh, different devices that are becoming somewhat wireless. Why not power? Absolutely, why not power? So the problem is providing electrical power to devices without wires. Solving a dilemma that 
I see that's um, going to be needed uh, within the next few years. Not now. Uh, batteries don't last long. Uh, power drills, you still have to hold something that's very heavy. We can build our collector into the drill or, or into a saw or into different types of products and uh, thereby essentially eliminating every, any heavy batteries. Our units are not very heavy. <coughs> this collector is very light. It'll uh, operate 100 watt light, not a problem. Very interesting concept. You think about it. Very light can go into uh, different types of products. Uh, gets people to start to think about things. Um, of course, we know about batteries and how heavy they are. Excuse me. The pumps. The solution. What's the solution? The solution is that will essentially transmit power and take that power and move it where we want to and make it portable, mobile. So that's, that's what we're providing a solution. How does it work? Essentially, we have a number of uh, components, uh, types of transformers. A pulsed wave energy pot, and what it does is once again changes that AC to electromagnetic power. And if I will, I'm going to try and excuse me. it's going to get another little product there. <clears throat> How are we going to make money? Well, two ways. We're thinking about licensing the product, quickly licensing the technology. Uh, proof of concept not only is the fact that we have all the prints and patents applied for it and, uh, and things in the process, and we'll go over patents in a few minutes. Uh, essentially, uh, we have the design done. R&D is done. Uh, there's a few refinements like anything else. 